Gonna be making up a trifle today. Now it's a nice, simple trifle, but the results are delicious. So if you've got some guests coming round, it's for Christmas, or you just fancy making up a really nice dessert, go and make this trifle, it's wonderful. So for making up this trifle, just gonna go through the ingredients I'm gonna use. Now first of all, I'm gonna make my own homemade custard, nice and simple, and it's much better if you can make your own. Obviously you can go and buy ready-made custard, but it's never gonna be as good as the one you make yourself. Now for making this custard, I'm gonna use about half a pint, which is about 270 milliliters of double cream, one teaspoon of corn flour, just to thicken it up a little bit, 25 grams of caster sugar, and then I've got three eggs, which I'm gonna separate the white from the yolk. So we want three of those yellow yolks, and that'll go into the custard. One vanilla pod. Now, I'm gonna scrape out the insides of the vanilla pod, and that'll just give this custard a nice vanilla sort of taste to it. So there's your custard, really simple to do. Now, once you've got your sort of bowl for making up the trifle, the bottom layer, we're gonna use these trifle sponges. What I'm gonna do is cut them in half, and I'm gonna put some raspberry jam in the middle of it, and then put them in the bottom of the bowl, and then we're gonna pour over some sherry. I've got a nice cream sherry. Pour that over and let the sponges suck all that sherry up, and oh, it'd be delicious at the bottom. Then we've got some raspberries, good handful of raspberries. Just gonna mix that with some icing sugar, just to sweeten them down a little bit. So you put the raspberries over the top of the sponges, and then you've got a couple of bananas, now you don't have to use bananas and it will depend on the size of your bowl, but I'm gonna you know, try and squeeze a little bit of banana in there as well. Now with the remaining double cream we've got, what I'm gonna do is whip that up and that's gonna go on top of all the custard mixture. And then I'm gonna finally top it off with some of these flaked almonds. Now with the almonds, I'm just gonna slightly toast those, sprinkle those over the top and you end up with a really delicious trifle. So now I've gone through the ingredients, the first thing I'm gonna get on with is making the custard. So we're gonna get on and make this custard. Now, I'm gonna start by cracking the egg, and then we need to separate it. So I'm just trying to get that white out. Just roll it back and forth. That's it, I think I'll put that in, that one. There we are, got the three in there. Now what we can do is just give those a quick whisk up. You can add in the sugar. So just get it all in there. And we can also put in the corn flour as well. So now I've whisked up those three egg yolks, what I'm gonna do is go over to the hob, get myself a small saucepan, and I'm just gonna pour half a pint of double cream with the vanilla pod, and bring it up so it's fairly nice and hot. So let's go over to the hob. Now, I'm just gonna pour in roughly about that much, about half of the pot. Now, I'm just gonna put that on the heat, on a sort of medium heat, I'd say, just to kind of bring it up. Now, while we're doing that, with a knife, just kind of cut along the middle, if you like, of the pod, open it up, and then you can just scrape it with a knife, just to try and get all that vanilla out of there. Oops. And just sort of scrape it out. Again, let's just scrape this out there. Try and get as much as you can out there, but what I, I'm gonna do anyway, is just put the pod in there for now. I mean, you know, the vanilla pods really do get a lovely vanilla flavor, so if you can get a pod, great. Now let's just give this a quick mix around. Doesn't take long to heat up. That's it, let's just switch it off now. That's done already. Just 
just give it a quick mix. Now what we can then do is all that mixture, all that mixture, we're just going to pour it in here, but you do need to be stirring this constantly while you're doing this. So just put a little bit in a time, just keep mixing it around. That's it. Put the saucepan back. Now we're going to pour that back in the saucepan. Now we've got the vanilla pod in there, eventually we'll have to take that out. Now, let's just put this now on a very low heat, real low heat. That's it. Now I'm going to change to a, a different balloon whisk because the other one makes a lot of noise. There you go. And what you want to do is just, you know, give this a stir, good stir, put it on a low heat and it should slowly thicken. And you know, just now and again, make sure you give it a good stir. Now my custard's just starting to thicken up nicely. Now I've been doing this on a very low heat, I would say nearly 10 minutes, but it's just thickening up now. So I'm gonna switch it off the heat. And also, I'm gonna see if I can take that vanilla pot out of there, because it's done its job and we've got all the vanilla out. So the custard's all done really, so I'm going to take that off the heat and leave that to cool down. So now we've made that homemade custard really very simple, we'll leave that aside to cool down. Now what I'm going to do is go back over to the table, get those trifle sponges and we're just going to cut them in half and put some lovely raspberry jam in the middle of them and that is going to be the bottom layer of this trifle. Now with these trifle sponges, I'm just going to open them up. lay them out and then what I'm going to do is slice them in half long ways and then butter the middle of it with that raspberry jam so I'll just open up this packet that's it all right so let's just very carefully kind of slice these in half maybe doing it sideways that's it just flip that open and then you can put some raspberry jam in the middle, fold them back in half and then we're going to cut them in half again. So I'll do that with all the rest and then we're going to put that raspberry jam on there. So I've cut those in half. Now let's get some raspberry jam, put a splodge on each one as in each half, one half only and then we can spread that out and fold the top on. I'll just carry on doing all of those. There you go, done those. Let's grab a knife and then you can just spread it out really. Like that. And then once you've done that, just put the lid on and that's done. So I'll carry on spreading out all the rest of the jam, fold them over and then we're gonna cut them in half. There you go, all done. Now I'm just gonna move these back because I'm gonna bring the bowl that I'm going to use for my trifle. Now, it's a good idea to try and have a nice clear bowl so you can kind of see the layers on the side. So there's the bowl. Now, I'm going to start off by putting the little bits of sponge all around the edge, a little bit in the middle, and then we can pour over that sherry. Now, you can lay these out however you like. I think what I'll do is I'll start with just one in the middle there, and then we can just start. Kind of putting them round, maybe another one in the middle. That's it. And just kind of go all the way round. And that's going to be the beautiful bottom layer with that raspberry jam and sherry. So there you go, just got the one left. Just point those out a little bit, make them look a bit nicer. I might even be able to get that one in there actually. Now, with the sherry, I've got a little sherry glass there, a mount. It's actually about 50 mil, so it's like a glass of sherry. What I'm gonna do is just use a spoon and try and put it all over each of the sponges. 
and they should suck it all up. When you dig at the bottom of your trifle, oh, that's going to be good. Let's just get that in there. I mean, you could put less if you want, but I think if you're going to have a nice trifle, good bit of cream sherry. Delicious. And that will be soaked up and delicious. Now next of all, I've got me raspberries and I'm just gonna put a little bit of icing sugar over them just to sweeten them up a little bit. Let me just loosen up a little bit. So we'll just quickly spread that in. That'll just help to sweeten those a little bit. And then you can just be very gentle. Give them a move around, job done. With the raspberries, I'm just gonna carefully Put them in there. Now obviously you might have to adjust the amount of sponge and what you can get in here to the size of the bowl you've got. So that's it. Spread those around a little bit. Yep, looking good. Next of all, I'm gonna use the banana now, if you don't like banana, obviously leave that out, don't worry, but I'm just gonna, don't know what that was. Now with the banana, I'm just gonna kind of slice it up. I might just put the other one in, because they are fairly small bananas. Try and use ripe ones. Just kind of spread them around. Lovely. Whoa, looking good. And next of all, I'm gonna put that custard. Look at that, lovely, thick custard. Beautiful. Now I'm just gonna pour that over the top. That's it, just get the last bit out of there. Now we've got the custard on there, just gonna move that bowl aside. And I'm going to get myself another bowl with the rest of that double cream. And I'm going to use a whisk, just whisk this up a little bit, get it a little bit thicker, and that can go over the top. So I'll just carry on doing that until that's thickened up. And that's it, I've been whipping that, and it's just nicely thickened up. Beautiful. So we're going to spoon that over the top of the trifle. That's it again. Just get everything out of the bowl. And let's just be gentle. So I'm just going to spread that all over. Lovely. Now the last thing we've got to do is just toast these almonds. So just gonna put those in there, spread them out a little bit, just pop them in the oven, keep an eye on them because you know you don't want them all getting burnt. Just get a very light colour on them, make them toasted, and then we can put that on top. So let's switch the, uh, the oven on. Pop them in there. So keep an eye on them. Now I've just roasted those almond flakes and I put them in this bowl because the tin was a little bit hot. And what we can do is just sprinkle those over. And these will be a delicious topping. Oh yeah. That's it. I never put all the almond flakes on, but you know when you roasted them up, they're delicious just on their own. I've got some raspberries, might as well. Put some little raspberries there. Oh yeah. Oh, delish. So there you go, there's my trifle. That looks absolutely scrummy. And what I'm gonna do is to put that in the fridge. I would love to taste it now, but gotta be a little bit patient, let it cool down. And you know, I would say leave it for two or three hours, come back 
and we're going to try some. So let's put it in the fridge. So I've got a trifle, and that's been in the fridge for a couple of hours, chilling out, because it's always nice, you know, to serve it a little bit cooler, so oh, it just makes it taste that much better. So don't try and rush it and scoop it in your bowl. Let it chill out first, and all the layers are kind of settled down. I mean, I'm taking it out two hours, but that's the minimum, I'd say, really. You want to leave it probably even longer if you can, but I'm going to tuck into this and see how it is. Now, I'm going to try this trifle. Obviously, it's... You know, chilled out in the fridge for a couple of hours. You could leave it a lot longer. Now I'm just going to get tucked in. So just trying to think where to go. I think, I think we do it here. It's definitely firmed up a little bit where it's been in the fridge. So that's good. Nice sort of scoop there. I think. Let's just get that there. Go right to the bottom because obviously at the bottom you've got all the good stuff. And let's go right down deep. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. I'm probably nicking a bit of the other one, but there we go. Now, let's just put that in the bowl. Hmm, lovely. Now, I think what you can also do, I don't know if you can see that, I've got a little glass there, so if it's a bit more Christmassy or special, because we know it's fairly firm, we can just kind of get a scoop. And again, go right down to the bottom. Get it in there. I think I'll just try and very carefully. Put that in there. Whoa. They both look yummy. And this one as well, look at this. You can see you've got all the layers in there. That is looking delicious. Let's move this back. I've got this one. And I've got this one. I like this one, it's quite dainty. You know, maybe if it's sort of coming up for your Thanksgiving or Christmas and you want something a little bit special, probably just give that a quick wipe of a tissue normally, but I'll probably eat both of these. So let's just try some of this. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to try this one first. Now, I did try the trifle, but unfortunately, due to some technical issues, there was no sound for the taste test. However, the show must go on. What I can say is the trifle was really scrumptious and tasted as good as it looked. I loved all those different layers, especially the homemade custard and, of course, those trifle sponges with the raspberry jam soaked in that sherry. Oh, that was my favourite. Overall, this trifle is a wonderful dessert for any special occasion, whether it's Thanksgiving, Christmas, or you just want something to impress. I hope you enjoy watching my videos, and if you decide to go and make this, enjoy. And if you like what I do, you like my videos and the food, why not subscribe? I always really appreciate new subscribers. Thanks for my watching my videos. Hopefully, see you on the next one the original Naked Chef.